Hi, my name is Mike Reed. I'm Dean of the College of Health and Human Performance. And I just wanna take a few seconds to congratulate you on being a member of the graduating class of 2020. Man, what a spring this has been, huh? None of us saw this coming. Who knew that campus would be so disrupted that all of us would have our lives so disrupted? We're not on campus. I'm talking to you from my house. You're probably at home with your family or you found someone else that you're crashing with trying to make this spring happen. You're taking courses online. Maybe you had to sort out an internship. Despite all these challenges, despite the disruption, despite being separated from many of your friends here on campus, you've managed to make it happen. Congratulations. Congratulations on all the online courses you've taken this semester, on the internship you may have had to sort out this semester. Congratulations on your perseverance and your dedication and the resilience that you've shown as Florida Gators and HHP alums. Please know how proud I am of you. Not just me, but the entire faculty stands shoulder to shoulder to congratulate you on this amazing accomplishment. No other class ever at the University of Florida has had to deal with what you've dealt with, and yet you've succeeded. So you should be proud. I'm sure that your family is, I'm sure that your friends are, I'm sure that in your own ways, privately, across this state and across the nation, you are celebrating this graduation. Please know that here in Gainesville, we celebrate with you. We're incredibly proud of you. We wish you every success in the future. Come back and see us again soon. We need to see your face on campus when time and circumstances permit. In the interim, every best wish for a success in the future and go Gators. Hello, 2020 graduates. I am Delisha Milton Jones, Lady Gator All-American, 17 year WNBA legend, two time WNBA champion for the Los Angeles Sparks and two time gold medal winning Olympic basketball player. I attended the University of Florida from 1993 to 1997. I studied sports management with a minor in mass communications. Congratulations are in order. And I'm here to bring you a message of love, hope, positivity during these trying times we are all fighting through. As a Gator, we are built for times such as these. And there's no better moment to make a difference in this world as the wonderfully gifted class of 2020. The pandemic may have altered your opportunity to celebrate with family and friends, but I want you to stop at no cost to enjoy this moment. You did it. Don't let anything, anyone, or any adverse circumstances stop you from allowing your light to shine bright. Go forward knowing you are made for success and leave your mark on this world in the most positive fashion possible. Before I go, I want to leave you with two quotes that have allowed me to persevere through life flawlessly. The first being, Dependent upon your perspective, some of your greatest victories come after some of your greatest moments of doubt and defeat. Lastly, success favors the bold. So what are you waiting on? There's a world out there for you to conquer. You're made for this. Go bravely and let your inner gator growl. Hello class of 2020, my name is Rafael Felipe, or ALF, and as a fellow graduate, I would like to congratulate you all on this amazing accomplishment. And although not an ideal time or setting, let us celebrate our journey, the memories created, friendships formed, and the future ahead, even if that remains six feet apart. Let us thank the people and pets that have supported us through it all. And most importantly, commemorate yourself, your triumph against personal grief restless nights, or maybe that one professor who wouldn't round that 89.9. We made it. Now, before we all go on our separate paths, I wanna leave you with an anecdote and a message of comfort. Let's think back to how many of us began college. Finally having independence, full of energy, and no eye bags, life seemed great. Well, for me, it was all fun and games until I failed all my first exams, struggled to find new friends, 
and came this close to transferring back home. I mean, who else thought they peaked in high school? The new semester, new me motto could only get me so far. And I concluded the obvious. Life just never goes as planned. Even now, our fantasized closure of graduation has perhaps been marred by disappointment and unsaid goodbyes. However, in journeys when we lose our sense of belonging, when backup plans fall short, I still believe there is hope in the midst of uncertainty. Rather than preparing to take on new feats, find grounding before moving forward. Specifically, I have found two tethers of comfort across my journey. The first tether incorporates the accumulation of our experiences. Recognize the times when we have surpassed sorrow and tragedy, how we have grown from hardships, successes, and the moments when we just try to get by. The second tether is our relationships. Relationships symbolize our values and the influences upon our lives. While we have personal relationships that help promote our character, also recognize the moral responsibility we have to others, sharing the integrity of our living principles, not only physically, but through our thoughts, beliefs, motives, and words. These two attributes have provided me a tether to comfort and peace. And I realized this at the end of my sophomore year, when I thought my aspirations of becoming a doctor were ruined. Like many others, personal and academic hardships drained my energy and motivation. You know, I think college has taught us all how to put up a front, but inside I felt hopeless and disconnected from friends. However, as I let time drag me forward, I found comfort in smaller things. It started with different opportunities as I became more involved in our college and internship and even joined a new gym. And don't get me wrong, I still love Southwest, but the different experiences introduced new vigor and most importantly, deeper relationships. I became intentional with my interactions, tried conversation first and listened more. The different stories, smiles and laughs lifted me up day by day. New joys and support systems sparked confidence towards my pursuit in medicine and I found myself trying to repay the positive influences I experienced. My path taught me to embrace the moments of vulnerability as personal suffering and failure are nothing to discount. Thus, I urge you to translate your experiences and relationships into positive change. Practice generosity, selflessness, and empathy. Let us continue to educate ourselves and listen actively to those in need as new perspectives may refresh our livelihood as they did with mine. To close, I want to quote the author from When Breath Becomes Air, Paul Kalanithi. Human knowledge is never contained in one person. It grows from the relationships we create between each other and the world. And still, it is never complete. And I like this because it displays a connection between the two tethers. One, our experiences that attempt to grapple life's anguish. And two, our relationships that ground our present and guide our future. For example, our thirst for closure, like right now, may have to settle with bittersweet reconciliation of the past few years. But don't feel pressure to find an immediate sense of belonging. We deserve to relish in our memories, cherish the dumb and embarrassing moments, the highs and lows. Understand that fulfillment is not achieved through a plan or meeting expectations. Rather, learn to appreciate the present, our ongoing journey, as fulfillment is nourished by the experiences we've been fortunate to have and the people we're thankful to know. So, class of 2020, as time drags all of us forward, acknowledge how far you've come and how far you still can go, but don't forget to pick others up along the way. Congratulations and go Gators!